supposed to clean up. We've been talking about it all year long. There's tons of debris out there from plastic to bottles to all kinds of things that we've got to find just so that we can keep our beaches clean and healthy, you know? So Coastline is on the scene to keep the beaches clean. Yeah. So here we are with Coastline. We're here for Ocean Cleanup. It's Coastal Cleanup Day and every year people come out and give their time and their energy to keep our beaches looking fabulous. Just the way we like to when we want to run and round on summertime or any time of the year. As you can see, there's some folks down there finding some different things like cigarette butts, um, coke cans, like cigarette butts or bottles and all kinds of debris that sort of accumulates over the year. And then they want to clear it all out because the tides will come in and wash it up and then wash it back out into the water. We don't want that, do we? No, we got to do something about that. So I'm here to help out too. If you want to keep a fresh beach, you need a few things. The great thing is you've got some gloves because you do not want to touch any nasty, itty, nasty crap. You know, you want to put your gloves on and make sure that you're nice and clean for yourself for hygienic reasons. And we've got a wonderful trash bag that they've provided us right up there at the front. So in case you didn't bring your own and stuff. And this here is the bag that we're using. What does um, it say? Yep. Oh, every piece of trash you remove reveals something beautiful. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What I think is really cool is that they brought a tally sheet. This is fantastic so that we can also monitor and manage and sort of log what we're finding out there. You know, what's most um, at risk that we run into. So and then this here is a little bit about what we usually find in the water and stuff. Is that yep, what we're trying all to? stuff you could find. Oh, okay, cool. And then that's cool. So here's a pair of gloves for you. All right, thank you. And then we're going to go run around a little bit and clean up some So these are just a few things that they've provided for us. Fantastic guys. And so we're going to go down here and see what we find because as we do Coastline TV show, we want those beaches looking good so you can enjoy the segments. So let's go help out. Keep the beaches nice and clean because as Coastline, as you can see, there's the coast is every time I take the show and do a segment, I'm so happy that when I do want to do beach episodes, they're all nice and clean and free of any debris. And we want to find out how that happens because it just doesn't happen. A lot of times we enjoy all the holidays from Labor Day to Memorial Day or even internationally different things that go on all year long and stuff that we do, pop bottles, cook bottles and and um, different kind of cigarette butts washes out and they create gigantic barges in the middle of the ocean. And then it washes back up on our shore sometimes. So it's good that we do our part right now so that we can always know that it's gonna be clean for us to enjoy. We've got some folks down there, as you can see, working at it. We're gonna go help them out and make sure it looks great. part in some beaches like a stop by beach like Gripai. In other major ones you'll find more larger debris. This here is the kind of stuff you might run into which is styrofoam. Styrofoam gets washed out into the ocean, it gets caught up in the birds mouths and then they get you know choke and they can't eat and all these kinds of things clog up environments. So this is something that you might run into a little bit more and it gets washed out. You wouldn't believe it from this here 
it will wash out because the sand and the tides are come constantly rolling in. So right at the ocean break, you know, on the coastline break, you'll see a very clean kind of bed. But as time passes, you see a little bit of seaweed and then you can come over into places like this. And that's where you might find little debris that you might look through for stuff, you know, because it comes up, it washes up and then it sides high. And especially in the winter time, it, it, it piles up and everything accumulates. The birds in formation. This is who we're doing it for. Isn't that awesome? We're doing it. As you can see, those birds need these people to clean up all the beach so that when they go down and out and to eat. So, coming out uh, for ocean cleanup, we look for different stuff out here because the debris washes up and it. it sits at the bed usually a lot of times because it's washed up. Like this here is a piece right here. It's a piece of paper wrapper from candy. Uh, we're finding pieces of like this here like styrofoam. Now these are not large pieces but they really do make a difference if you're out in the ocean and everything. So then we're going to mark on here um, that we're finding like bottle caps, sometimes lids, in beaches where you have picnics, you'll find more larger stuff. So this is the kind of stuff that we're looking for uh, so that it doesn't tide high back out, especially during the, um, uh, the fall and the winter season when on the California coast it can wash back out when the storms come. It doesn't turn uh, into uh, trash for them. got a team leader going on and she sort of organized her own team and so they're picking up some grotesque crap right so hey guys what did you guys find I'm gonna go further down but what did you find cigarette butts what's his number one cigarette butts probably yeah. oh, okay see. See, I wouldn't even, I just would pay, put audio. We got the, she's a trophy winner, right? She's got tons of stuff, poke cans. <laughs> we've got some, a tennis ball. Oh my God, it's busted. We don't want that going out in the ocean or anything. So this stuff is here and they're doing their duty. And I found my big giant Coke, uh, Coke cup. All right, thanks. Now here's our trophy winner guy. He's got passion. I guess you got to really seek it out, right? Well, you really got a lot. I mean, what time did you get here? Nine. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out here. You okay. All right, so here's the well watching for you guys. I had a few more, just so you guys enjoy. Oh, get it for them. Get it to them. Now, can I get it? I'll take, are you okay? If you don't want to, it's all right. About your pounds. Is it okay? I just want to make sure, because I have to check with folks, you know. So this guy was one of the hardest working folks that I found out there. And what's your name, first of all? Brian. Brian's a, he's a trooper, I swear. He's got the whole team here. But how many pounds did you find, Brian? 34 pounds. Dear God, that's a baby. Dear God, who can carry that, right? So guys, come on, keep the beaches clean so we can keep on doing the scene of the show, okay? Thank you guys. You guys are great. Farm here, as we could see, most of the people things that I collected were uh, a little bit of food wrappers, like we say, we said the takeout cup container, lots of parts of styrofoam. Uh, parts of styrofoam here, they've got a great list here of things that you could see. And uh, I guess I ran into a balloon and some straws. Some straws is some stuff that we ran into as well. So this is very great for them to tally and keep up with what's going on out there. After you clean up all the trash, then that's the view you want, right? 